Hello everybody. Howdy y'all. And welcome back. This morning we woke up and the sky has looked like this. We have had no sun at all. So we've done everything pretty quickly. We ate, we cleaned up dishes. We were planning on going on a hike today, but we don't want to hike in a downpour. So I think what we're going to do, we came in from this direction. I think we're going to go that way and see what other camping is over there because after we get our oil change, we're gonna come back, find some other camping. Now, we do need to go ahead and take the awning down if we're leaving because I hear raindrops right now. And after that hell storm yesterday, we don't wanna mm. take a risk while we're gone. Yeah, so better just to go ahead and take it down. So we're gonna do that very quickly and we'll see you back in the truck. In the truck and it just started raining a little bit on us as we were putting it up. Now, we did say we had no service at this location before we even got here. Onyx Off-Road, I don't know if you've ever used it. I downloaded this app um, and we got the annual, I forgot how much it costs annually. Oh, I forgot too. But you can download a region like we have here. If you notice the rest of this is all blurry, but you can download a region and you can see in detail. Well, this is a really large area. I wanna say it's probably like 10 miles by 20 miles square. And we're gonna go check all this out because we came in from way up here this way. Where my thumb's going and landed where we're at right now but we want to go check out all this by the way it's really dry and arid right when you start coming in here mm -hmm. like a desert i know it's funny because yesterday i was like gosh sure be nice if we get some rain <laughs> hello i'm sure it didn't rain over there though <laughs> what i found funny yesterday is i said kelly can cook in hell and everything and five seconds later hell drops yeah oh, that's crazy once we head out here whatever we find we're gonna let you know um, there is a, a campground down here, so we'll cruise through that, see what that looks like. Yeah, so that's pretty much the plan for today. We brought our hiking shoes. If it clears up, we can go on a hike somewhere. So we pretty much have everything with us we need. We're prepared for that. Let's do it. That's it. All right, so we come to our first spot. We heard some people here yesterday. This is right down the road from us. But Kelly's concerned about this big pile of freshly cut timber. Yeah, I... I don't know if I would um, camp here, especially during the week, because I would be afraid that they'd come by and they need this area to start loading that wood up. I guess oh. they're okay. What? Also, I see why we kept sitting here in a lot of ATVs and stuff on the other side of the creek. There's a trail right ahead of us crossing the creek. Oh, okay. Off-road trail. So then people could also be coming through here to take that. That looks pretty steep. Now, something we do want to clarify, we do have a security boot lock on our trailer now, you know, after it was stolen last November. We feel very confident with it. It has tons of security on it right now, so we're still are kind of gun shy about leaving it places, but us leaving it there also provides us the opportunity to try to find camping spots that we can get that trailer into without having to drive up something like that and then back it out. We've done that before and it was kind of stressful. Going in reverse with a trailer, say up a hill on the bear jute is really, really difficult on her, especially on the transmission. So this makes it a lot easier, but we're not gonna take that way just cause I know it goes nowhere. All right, we got a little distracted cause we came around the corner and we both got cell service. So we were like checking everything. Our phone was like ting, ting, yeah. ting, ting. But we did find the campground, looks really nice. So I think we're gonna cruise through and see. And I guess it's a good option because there is cell service here. Now we do have our Wii Boost plugged in, so that might help, but I mean, it's an option if you need self-service and you want to be at a campground. So we're yeah. going to pull in. We're, we don't know where the entry is. We just either. saw the bathroom. <laughs> if you don't know what a wee boot or a cell booster is, is we have a wee boost here it's plugged in right here. There's an antenna on top of the vehicle, runs through to this little antenna on the side of my chair. It picks up a cell phone signal and amplifies it. It doesn't create cell phone signals out of thin air. And the brand we have is wee boost. I mean, heck, I like it a lot. It really has yeah. been a lifesaver. It has. It's helped us out in a lot of situations. But I think we're coming up to... Oh, we're coming up to it right now. The campground. Here we are at the campground. This is the North Fork of the Poudre. Now, Cody and our friend Matt have kayaked the Poudre River. I started kayaking it, and then I I just I had to stop because it was just crazy. And the day before, we did something really crazy, so my nerves were already like, eh, shot. I didn't get a break to like chill out. And here's the Poudre. It's not very big here. One of the campgrounds that I like. There's no facilities, obviously, but first come, first serve, and they're very spaced out. I mean, you've got pit toilets here. 
Well, these two are kind of close yeah, together. They're, they're just nice and open. Yeah. Really nice. Tent pads. Oh, I'm about to go off road. So how many spots were there? Man, not very many. I think there's only like maybe 12. Maybe? Okay, yeah. 12 so not spots. very many spots, yeah. but it's an option if you want, if you're near Fort Collins and you just need to dive out and camp for the night. It's a pretty nice campground. It is Sunday, so maybe these people are going to be leaving soon. I don't know. Usually during the week, it's pretty dead. So we did find a, a, a good spot. We did pass a bunch, but they were really close to the road. So we passed on those, but this one is off the road a little bit and it looks pretty nice. We're far off the road. We've got a creek right here. A really pretty one too. Oh, this is nice and cleared out. Oh, okay. So Cody said this is still the North Fork of the Poudre. Man, this is so pretty. I like this spot. I'd back up the trailer right here. Boom. And then put the tent. Up there, we did the little one. That's flat. Let's keep exploring. We found an epic spot and that last little shot you saw was right before the rain started coming down. But you can see Cheyenne, Wyoming. You can see windmills off in the distance. This is a awesome, yeah. awesome spot. There is no water access. However, we could stay here for two days. Yeah, we could with our water tank. But it is, it's easy access. It's right off the road, but you do get back a little bit. So there is some privacy, but this is a pretty cool view. I mean, it's uh, it's I on mean, up there is one of the cool ones. And what'd y'all think of Kelly's off-road driving skills? What? <laughs> yes, she, I, I was like, babe, you got this. I want to set up the camera. I want to get some shots of you. And she killed it. Heck, we pulled down this road and she didn't think twice about it. No, I knew <laughs> there was an awesome view back here. But we do have phone service here, and we found out that it's not going to stop raining till 5 o'clock. Yeah. So, so I think we're going to go ahead and head back to camp. It's just kind of a rainy, ho-hum day. Yeah. We're but it's fun. It's part of it. I enjoy it. I'd rather be doing this. Well, we'll see y'all back at camp. All right, we're not back home yet. <laughs> so Kelly wanted to check out this one road, and this is pretty pretty hairy for Kelly. She's I a, mean, it's... She's doing it. It's got a little rock. Not too bad. I mean, I know y'all can't see it on the camera, but it's had a few little drops like this coming up. Nothing too bad. But for a, a newbie off-roader, she's doing good. Got to bear you in four-wheel drive, if you know what I mean. But I also thought we were supposed to be following a creek, and I don't, I don't see it. It's over to the left somewhere. Look at these skills. It's really thick. She's driving. Was this pointless? <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey, it could be pointless. You never, you never know until you take the trail. I'm just wondering if there's somewhere to turn around. Oh, there's gotta be somewhere to turn around. Well, it's a dead end. Yeah. Is this a spot? Yeah, that's a spot. Turn there. Turn, turn, yeah. Let's take a gander at this. The rain kind of lightened up a little bit. It's still raining, but. Oh, 
I can Back smell all right. the trees right now. Yes. I like it. Dude. This is beautiful. And she was concerned that it was going to be for nothing. I like it. I was a little concerned too. All right, let's go. Okay, look at this. dry underneath this tree. Look at the ground. Completely dry. That's cool, man. I right. like it. I put a, I put her tent right there. Yeah. All right. Y'all want to see Kelly continue to drive? So All right. how do I get out of there? Uh, I'll get out and I'll guide you because there's a big rock up there. So let's get out and guide Kelly. Of these mad skills. Make sure she doesn't hit anything. That's my wife right there. She knows what she's doing. She's kind of, she's kind of scaring me. All right, looks like we're up to another spot. There's actually someone. Uh, there's something when camping at the next spot. Looks like a nice spot though. Nobody there, they're, but they're, they're camp there, set up. But they're not there. They're there, but they're not there. You're killing it, babe. I couldn't see on that rock, man. Oh, you did good. You did good. Just remember your rear tire. Think about going wide because some of this closer stuff, your rear tire could grab something like mm -hmm. a like a log. Mm -hmm. This is the kind of camping I've been looking for. I know, right? And we were this close to bypassing all this. Good. You're good. You're good. And the trailer can make it back here? Oh yeah, the trailer can make it back here. In a Even over that rock? Oh yeah. I want to make sure she doesn't... Okay. I also wanted to check it to make sure it didn't get more raunchy up here. You're good. Come on. She slid a little there. I was concerned she's going to be driving too fast, but uh, I think we made it to the end. Throw this away. <sighs> Hold on. Yeah, there's a fire ring here, but right across, they've made trails, or there are trails. I don't know if it's designated trail or they're just making illegal trails but you're gonna have people coming right through your camp and riding up over there so you gotta you gotta think about those things whenever you find a dispersed camping spot but it's really beautiful down here look at this this is very 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 pretty now that we have gone down our last road, we found some good spots, we will be heading back to camp. The sun is trying to come out. Finally stopped raining. I hope it comes out to dry everything just a little bit before we go to bed at least. But for dinner tonight, I'm gonna be making the German stew and I have not made this in a long time. It sounded really good. So we got some smoked beef, sausage, onion, potatoes. I had already cut up the cabbage and then this recipe requires beer. Is that what you're going for? We don't need it just yet. Oh, okay. So if you see me cutting things weird, I have like a paper cut on my thumb. So I'm gonna be, I don't want all these juices in it because I just touched it and it burned. Sausages are gonna go in, got some oil in there. And we are going to caramelize 
those. All right, we've got an onion. So we're gonna slice these half moon. This dish requires a beer and it is a German beer. We won't use all of it, so I'm gonna drink some of it. I'm gonna try it. Which it might be all of it. It looks yeah. pretty good though. Yeah, it does. It's got a good color to it, good body. I'm gonna let that hang out over here. Let's stick in my hand. All right. Wow, that's very holiday ish What does that mean? Like it's got like seasoning flavor to it, something that you'd put in a holiday dish, like cardamom or not nutmeg. It reminds mm. me of something that you would have yeah. for the holidays, doesn't it? A little bit. That's a good flavor. So we're just kind of hanging out. We gotta let the sausage get caramelized. I like my sausage to be very caramelized. We'll throw in the onion and then we'll get to see what happens after that. All right, let's go in with the onion. So I'm just mixing it all together so we can get the juices from the meat. And we're gonna let that start to caramelize. Now we're gonna add in the cabbage. I've already previously sliced it up just so that it would fit in our refrigerator. All right, I've got two russet potatoes. And if you see, I've got some garlic I chopped up over here. I am planning on cubing these potatoes. All right, our cabbage is soft, so I'm gonna put in some pepper. Y'all do not know how good this dish is. It's good. And some caraway seeds. Now you might wanna ground them up if you have them. I don't have that option, so we're just gonna throw them in there. And some salt, not too much. And let me give it a stir. So Nick, if you're watching right now, Kelly said, I don't know why I have never made this for my dad because this is his favorite meat. Isn't that what you said? <laughs> I feel like he always eats those. <laughs> little sausages? Yeah, we'll do a little more. So when we finally see you in the future, if you want this, just like let your daughter know. I think you'd like it. I think you would really like this dish. All right, now let's get rid of this garlic. Stir that around and let that cook for 30 seconds. And we have to admit, if you make this dish, you have to have beer. You can't eat this without having a beer. It just, you gotta have a beer with it, right Angel Princess? I think so. I mean, it's just tradition, I guess. So we have some bread left over from the other night and I'm gonna toast some bread to go with it, obviously, because we have bread with everything. That's another thing about Kelly's dad. He always says. Yeah, he would love this dish. We're gonna have bread, we're gonna have potatoes, we've got sausage. All right, next is gonna be the beer. Once I edited a vlog, then when Kelly cooked this, and it was a music scene with all this, and I forgot to put the clip in where Kelly pours the beer, but we uh -huh. talked about the beer, and everybody said, They're when like, did the beer go in? And they were like, did I miss it? No, nah, no, nah, I completely forgot. because we were drinking too much beer while we were cooking. Might have been. <laughs> but just had the, we were having a good time. I, we were I in Wyoming. That, actually, that and, was a uh, long time ago. I've not made this since then, I don't think. Has it been a year? I, I don't think I've made it. All right, going in with a beer. Going in with the beer. It's actually here. This is yep, the beer going got in. Got that beer. Right there. It was my fault because I wasn't recording. <laughs> it wasn't Kelly's. All right, we're gonna let that simmer for a few minutes. Now we've let the beer simmer for a couple minutes. We're gonna throw in our potatoes. And then we're gonna do the broth. Now my broth has been in the refrigerator because I'd already opened it. And it's pretty much frozen. So I had to pour out what was not ice and then the rest of it is sitting right here. <laughs> oh boy. All right, so with the broth, I'm just gonna put enough in there to cover the potatoes because now we're gonna get the potatoes to boil if I can get the broth out. Still, still sounds like a slushy. I have more. I just am running low on my good brand. What do you want me to cut it open? Yeah. <laughs> it's a broth slushy. <laughs> All right. We do have the uh, refrigerator set to, I think, 32. 32. And sometimes, depending on what area of the refrigerator we put things in, they, they get frozen. They get frozen or. They don't get enough temperature. Still need a little more broth. Getting into the pantry. I only have one other full one left. Well, I think we can find that broth here. I think so. I haven't, I didn't see it anywhere in Michigan. Sorry guys, y'all don't have this broth there. Y'all can order it online though. 
Are you, we're from the company itself? Probably. Imagine. You can order anything online. <laughs> I mean, you can. All right, it's, so it's, it's covered. It's true. It's real true. <laughs> and I'm going to bring it to a boil. This is now boiling, and I have covered it with a lid, leaving it askewed a little bit to release some vapors. And we're just going to let it soak up all the liquid and cook the potatoes. Once that is done, it is ready to eat. While that's happening, I'm going to toast some bread. It is now time to eat. We are so hungry. This is what we're looking at for the finished product. So we've let that simmer for a solid 30 a, minutes. Probably 30 or 40 minutes. Yeah. Is what I want to We didn't want no soup. We wanted we wanted that right there. And when you turn it, it like yeah. I'm gonna top it with Italian seasoning and time to eat. These little things, heaven on earth, let me tell you what. It's good. I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt. Just because I like it. But it's good. It is so good. I can't believe it's been a year since we've had this. Me neither. Kelly's moose is back. Her beloved moose was right beside our tent. Oh, there he is. I see him. He is big. I, it's the same antlers. Do y'all hear Kelly? He likes the purple flowers. So yeah, he was going around eating all the purple flowers. He, would, he wouldn't eat any yellow flowers. If y'all saw in the last vlog, I was a good distance from him. And I just used my cell phone and I zoomed in. Because I will not get close to a moose. Yep, Kelly, he's eating more purple flowers. Now, I would be extremely concerned if we were rutting season because bull moose become very territorial and aggressive during rutting season, which is when they're looking for their mate. Right now, he still has a lot of velvet on his horns. He's just out here feeding. Still don't walk up and go pet him, but he is a lot more chill, so to speak. He ain't gonna come up here and start bothering us so much. He's just, he's just doing his thing, really. Kelly, do you see him? No. He's eating from a tree right now. Oh, he's way over there. Yeah. Okay. Kelly's new little crush. Have you named him? No. This is by far one of the coolest animals I've ever uh, I've ever encountered. Sorry you didn't get to see your moose again, did you see him? I saw a little bit. He'll be back. You look cozy. I am, I'm warm. Kelly finally named the moose. Honey, what did you name the moose? <laughs> we named him Moosey. Moosey the moose. I like it. But Moosey is still out there and we'll catch you on the other. See ya.